Well, hello, how are you? Is everybody well this glorious Thursday? I'm really excited. I'm standing in. I'm back. I've been wheeled in. You know how they, they like to bring me out of my little Harry Potter cupboard every now and again and just stick me in wherever I'm useful. And today I'm useful here presenting the Card Lord Show and I'm with one of my good friends and very favourite experts and favourite people in the world, the glorious and a little bit handsome, Craig Laird. Oh, stop <laughs> How? Stop it. I'm going to be blushing. <laughs> I, I am excited about this one, but obviously you already know, Leanne, head of product development. You know, so sometimes it's maybe, you know, in a compliment, complimentary way, a wee bit nervous about being here for Cartload because we've got, you know, with a Sarah, but it's Leanne, product, a pro, head of product development. But do you know what? It's Cartload. So we're going to have a bit of fun as well. We're going to die cutting, stamping, inking. I think we'll do that, won't we? Oh, I, honestly, I cannot wait, Craig. I cannot wait. It is going to be amazing. And, you know, Craig has some fantastic ideas. He loves to show you how the products work. But the most important thing for me, Cartload, it's all about the best deals. It's all about the best prices you can get. It's the time of the week when you need to do your shopping. You need to get your cart loaded up and get all of those essentials that you need. And maybe a little bargain or two. Try something out that you might not have wanted to try before because the price wasn't quite right, but it's right for you now. So we're going to focus on all of those deals. My top tip before we get started is absolutely about the century repel deal we have got on the show and this is a fantastic deal for you we've got here the amazing a4 centura we've also got a5 and a6 um, in a collection and what you're doing is you're getting the a4 and the a5 in the colorway but then you get the a6 free so it's a really good deal free who doesn't love the word free i think we all do don't we we absolutely adore it so that is one of my top tips for this show in terms of getting the best deals of the day. Now, please do share your pictures. And I've just been told about something new that's happening as well. And we want to see what you've been making with all of the things that we've got on the show. If you've already got it and you sat at home feeling a little bit smug and <laughs> I've already got that, darling. Well then get your pictures in and show us what you've been doing um, with all of the things that you've got at home. But I've just heard about this new thing, this new phenomena that's happened here at Crafters Companion TV, where uh, we have a demo over the show. Well, that's new and a little bit exciting. Glad I'm not the guest today. Uh, and that's our Craig, who's got all that pressure. And you're going to be choosing and voting which of the demos um, our Craig does today is the best one. And then that gets put on the shelf of fame. And at the end of week, we have another vote. We get a second chance Sunday. And then you decide on your demo of the week. My goodness, oh, honestly, all of the competition. Um, Fiona. She won last week. Um, when oh, oh, hang on, she won with what? She, with something over here. The ro oh, I'm gonna grab. Oh, look, I'm off. I'm on. I'm on a wander. Here I am. I'm back. I'll probably get wrong for wandering off, but there we go. <gasps> so this was the winner last week with our Fiona. Well, I'm not surprised to be fair. Um, that is truly beautiful, isn't it, Craig? You've got. Craig, you have got a lot to live up to, dear, my friend. I uh, do. I this do is indeed. The, this is the benchmark that has been set for you, darling. Um, and our Sarah had four cards in that competition last week. And, and Fiona won. Good for you, Fiona. I knew you could do it, girlfriend. Good for you. It's gorgeous. Let's see what our Craig does today and which one of his demos. Do I get a vote? I want a vote. <gasps> I'm going to vote. I'm so excited. Um, but get your votes all in and let us know what you think. And of course, all of your interaction. Tell us what you've been doing. If you're in the UK, where you snowed in. Send us your snowman photographs. We'd love to see them as well. Um, now, let's just get on with the deals. Let's get into it because you need to know all of the fantastic deals that we've got and what you're going to be able to get for us. And the first one is our amazing nativity deal. Now, the Na Nature's Garden Nativity range is absolutely one of your favourites. It's one of the favourite nature garden um, ranges that we have ever done for you. And the deal on this is absolutely fantastic. I'm checking what that is for you. It is £45, I need my glasses. 
Forty-five pounds and fifty-seven dollars, and oh, you wow. will see. Oh. I know it's amazing. Isn't I didn't it? know it was you with the glasses. Oh, oh. me with glasses. <laughs> Hello. What can I say? Well, you know, fifty-one tomorrow, Craig, and uh, need glasses in my life now. This has happened. I can't read without them. <gasps> I'm back on Crafters TV tomorrow. Actually, you know, yes, on my birthday. <gasps> Maybe we'll have a little party in a balloon or two. Who knows? I doubt it. But you know, a girl can dream. A girl can dream. So here we are, Nature's Gardens on the screen for you now, which means you can see that fantastic deal we've got there. It's £45 or $57, and you are getting a fabulous collection there with over 17 elements in. And you can see here how fabulous those elements are and exactly what you're getting in that deal so we've got all of these amazing cut and emboss folders we've got some of our most popular die collections in there where we've got that really lovely um mary and joseph i absolutely adore that and actually i've got some fabulous boards here which will just make it a little more obvious for you what you're getting in this collection i think a board is a fabulous thing isn't it because you can see what they're actually going to cut out that is so much better there we go you can see we've got mary and joseph holding the little baby jesus there with our uh, star of bethlehem behind that is a really good size die um, and phenomenal i think not just for nativity to be fair not just for christmas this can be with sympathy it can be a christening card it can be a thinking of you card times are down it can be just if you're a person of faith this is a fabulous die for you to be using all year round nothing particularly christmasy about that even though it's in the nativity collection of course you can just be getting ready for next year too and taking advantage of the phenomenal deal or oh, holy night my personal favorite in this collection that is a seriously fabulous statement of a sentiment i adore it look at the fine lines on there really beautiful and in the collection for you you're getting all of these you don't have to choose you've got this amazing cut and emboss folder again that really lovely angel design in there star of bethlehem behind beautifully um deep embossed detail all around it and i'm hearing that we are really very busy for this collection already i am not surprised it is the time to get it on such a phenomenal price get yourself prepared for next year again star of bethlehem and bethlehem underneath with that fantastic creator card that you've got there run that through one pass that is what you've got a little bit of inking it's done and again i personally think if you're a person of faith this doesn't just have to be about christmas this can be about so many other occasions in the year that you could be using them depending on how you decorate them up i love this uh, one of our edgeable designs you can see there in fact there are two edgeable designs on there you can see is that the same one flipped it is it's the same one flipped leanne it's the die and the cutout oh come on somebody get a professional on the job please please um you can see brilliant edgeable design and then we're also getting those amazing stamps the peace on earth stamp set you can see there lovely designs and of course this amazing embossing folder with bethlehem on there now you're not choosing them you're getting all of that all of that for 45 pounds or 57 dollars this saving is how much on that what is the saving saving £19.93 on that collection or $25.85 and if you're a platinum member you're only going to pay £36 or $45.60 for that how phenomenal is that deal really fabulous now the next thing I want to talk to you about is our Gemini mini which is I feel like I need to stand still sorry I do love to wander what can I say? I mean, later on, I'll be doing the Macarena. I might do the Hokey Corky. We might even, if we could only have a conga, if we could only get close enough, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? The Gemini Mini is back in stock. Now, this is a phenomenal little machine. It really does pack a punch. It has, it's got all of the power you would expect from all of our big machines, but it's a small machine. It's a manual machine. You've got that fabulous small space to be able to get really good sized dies through actually and all of the materials that you would expect to be able to cut on a fantastic price there. So you've got all of your accessories that come in the box. You've got your cutting folder and your little purple folder for your embossing folders, etc. We'll be looking at this during the show. How Craig's going to be showing us how this works. Um, and, you know, Never mind the fact that you've got the Gemini Mini here for $29.99 or $44.95. You're getting this free. <gasps> I know it's 20, well, $19.99 on its own. 
butter penny between friends, $24. And I mean, free. So your Gemini Mini can go inside there. There's loads more room for all of your dies and all of your storage. You've got all of the pockets around the outside, which is brilliant for your tools. Um, I actually use this bag a lot. Craig, do you have this bag and do you use it? I use the bag. I, I actually, I don't actually use it for my uh, Gemini Mini, simply because mine's is always sitting at the side. I use mine for things like my sprays. I've even got some of my um, uh, adhesive bottles and that that I store nicely, simply because if I'm sitting, I can just lift the bag and I can move it back and forwards, and it's easy just to, uh, you know, it, to be fair, it's maybe a bit of laziness because they're only over there on my desk, but you know what? I can make it easier then why not oh gosh absolutely i agree with you and you know to be fair um craig i have two at home greedy but then i can because i'm head of product development uh just to help myself no i don't no i would never do that um and i've got one for sewing and one for craft and i've got all of my things in there exactly like you've said my sprays my favorite tools there are pockets inside so you can organize yourself as well there's a shoulder strap with a lovely padded area so if you've got it heavy and you're walking around with it you can get it over your shoulder and pop around with it if you want to it's a phenomenal craft bag it doesn't just have to be about the mini it's really about all of the other crafts that you're doing at home i mean the mini will fit inside of it but i think you'll be using it for so much more and that comes free in that deal now the next little bundle of things we need to talk about is our dies to go specifically with the mini machine now these are small dies they're beautiful they're really lovely little embellishments but they're a perfect size to be an embellishment or be in a statement on a card front um, they were made for to work with the gemini mini however because the gemini mini is our smallest machine and um, with our three by six plate size in there of course all of these dies if you don't want to invest in the mini but you do like the dies will work in all of the other machines that we bring to a crafters companion if you've already got them at home so you don't have to have the mini to make these work but if you want to when you're getting the mini and you want some of these fabulous little dies to go with then you can and you're getting all of these you're not choosing again and there are several you can see all of those balloons and that bunting and the parcel the teacup and the cupcake and the floral comes in there then you've got that lovely three tier birthday cake and the candles you've got these fabulous little florals in here and you've got your dragonfly butterfly and that little ladybird and they're a fabulous size when you cut these out for 26 pounds or 40 dollars really good saving on those 28 individual elements in there and how much were we saving again 30 percent on those that is a fabulous saving of 11.95 and they're really useful these are actually my go-to set of embellishments at home i use them a lot especially the little ladybird the dragonfly and the butterfly um, because i make quite a few mistakes and you know what they say if you make a mistake stick a butterfly on it and that butterfly is the perfect size to cover up your mistakes it really is a fabulous little collection i love it the next set that we're going to have a look at is our embossing folders and these are again sized perfectly three by six in size to fit in the Gemini Mini without you having to use any other plate combination. Pop your card in, wind it through, done and dusted. Our Craig will show you this um, in, a, in a moment. You'll be able to see that. And I'm just going to turn that round so you can see the pattern a little bit better there of the folders that you're getting. And you're getting all of these four folders for £9.77 or $9.66. Look at that beautiful butterfly and floral you've got on there. I'm just turning it round so you can see the pattern a little bit better one of my favorites and i think one of the most usable a lovely trellis fabulous with those butterflies and florals in the die collection if you want to put the two of them together um, and then finally we've got this lovely little romantic love heart one all of them for £9.77 or $9.66, a phenomenal saving and will be wonderful to pop in your basket if you're getting your Gemini Mini. Now, they're the things that I wanted to show you in person. They're my top deals of the cartload. They're the things that I would be encouraging you to get because they're really great prices, really great deals and it's very very usable through the year that's that's going to be ahead with your crafting um however that isn't all we've got on the show we've got some more deals for you so you can see here we've got um our fabulous nature's garden nativity 10 piece stamp and die set here which builds a beautiful christmas scene 
inside a Christmas bauble for you. This is so incredibly impressive when you make this. And that's £10.49 or £13.99. And it is your last chance to get this one. Once it's gone, it's gone. We won't be rebuying it, won't be back in stock. If you like the look of that, get it now, put it away, and then you've got it ready when it gets to June and you start making your Christmas cards. Um, and then the next thing we've got for you is our metallic liquid inks, which are ridiculously half price. £12.49 for four pots of ink. Now, guys, can I, let's have, I'm having a word with you. I know how much we pay, head of product development, I know how much I pay our manufacturer to buy those from them. And let me tell you right now, that is a deal and a steal not to be missed. I'm even clapping my hands. It is phenomenal at £12.49 or $9.97. We have got different colour options for you. This is the antique floral that you're looking at right now. This is our um, metallic, rich metallic set for you. And we've got vintage metallics as well, which is this next set. You can see it's just a lot deeper in its color tone. Phenomenal results for those metallic inks. We've got a plethora of tutorials on our website, lots of masterclasses on these. Get these home while they're on a ridiculous deal and then go and um, watch all of the tutorials that we've got. This is a fabulous deal this next one i mean honestly this cartload have we have we gone mad there's so many good deals on here this is limited stock and again it's going to be once it's gone it's gone um and this is our double-sided topper die set you've got that fabulous mandala and pretty posy in there this is our floral collection really lovely and if you haven't seen our double-sided dies work they are phenomenal um one die, two cutting sides, running through the machine, two die cuts in one flash. It is amazing. So a really good deal with that at $19.50 and $23.50. Phenomenal saving on there, actually. I'm sure that they were that price individually. Really? Oh, my word. £30.48 or $36 is what they should be. Normally $24.99 each. Oh, my word. And then we've got them at 9 So it's you're paying the price for two less than the price of one is at full price. I mean, honestly, seriously, do you even need to think about that? Because you're getting the equivalent of four dies there. They're double-sided. Really, really good, really good concept and a beautiful result with those. The next range that we've got for you is our fancy font word um, stampin' dies. These are my personal favourite and my go-to. I have these in a folder on my craft desk at home and I use them practically on every single card I make because the font is fantastic, the size is superb, the design is incredible and I just need to check it. You are buying three and getting six free. I mean, honestly, you're getting nine of those, buying three, getting six free. I'm 99 individual elements in that collection for £17.97 or $23.95. Phenomenal and incredibly usable. If you haven't got these yet, you definitely need to get these. The next range of acrylic stamps we've got for you, which you can see here, are absolutely phenomenal again and I like these because they're a little bit quirky and a little bit different these will give you that extra pizzazz and they'll give everybody a smile who you send these cards to we've got some fantastic inspirational things in here like you got this and I'm sure this is the range where there is a stamp which says I totally shave my legs for you um, I don't know anybody that I would do that for including my husband so uh, but you know that's up to you and your preference fantastic quirky sentiments in here a real tongue-in-cheek humor a good laugh and you know we all need our days brightening right now don't we around the world we all need to just have a little smile at something sending somebody a card with one of these sentiments on will absolutely do that getting them for 21 pounds or 25 dollars is phenomenal and you've got 22 separate elements in there that's an incredible bundle for that price the next range that we've got for you is one of my favourite people, one of my favourite crafters, somebody I'm always inspired by, been friends for many years, Sharon Callis has brought her own range to you and this Butterflies and Blooms collection with 59 elements in here for $57 or 70, £57 or $79, again a phenomenal saving, absolutely incredible and you're getting everything you do not have to choose and I know that our Craig is actually going to be demonstrating this for you due during this amazing cartload. So, wow, 
I need to take, I need a breath. It's a jam-packed cart load. I mean, for goodness sake, how many amazing things have we got on there? I must just remind you of this fantastic nativity collection. It is flying. You are loving this. And I'm hearing it is ridiculously busy for it. And I think it's because we're talking about this nativity collection not just being for Christmas but if you are a person of faith actually being appropriate all year round and if you're sending cards to people of faith then appropriate for that too because they will cross over to many different occasions if you don't want them for that just get them in your stash so that you're ready for making your Christmas cards early for 2021 um, and this is a get it and it's gone we will not be reordering this nativity, nativity collection um, we're already planning our 2021 Christmas ranges. In fact, we're busy designing them right now. Um, so, you know, I know for a fact that we've got other things coming in 2021. So if you love this, now is your opportunity to get it for that ridiculous price of £45 and $57. Phenomenal saving. 17 different elements. You're not choosing from any of this. You are getting all of this. And these are all full significant sizes of that product. And there isn't a person more perfect uh, to show us what we can do with this collection than the absolutely glorious Craig Laird. Uh, Craig, what are we going to do with this one? Now you know I just love her so, so, so much. Just, uh, we're going to focus on the uh, nativity, and I can't believe I'm actually about to say this, but Leanne is right there. Let's just very quickly put today into context. Earlier on, we had a craft vault. Now, we don't have a second craft, craft vault because Sarah and Ben are on with the HSN preview. Now, we had, now shut your ears, Leanne. We had one of our recent Crafters Inspiration magazine at £2.99. £2.99. We then also had, we had multi-surface foils for the foil press. We had three of them, £3.99. And wait for this one. I, I, I know. And do you know, so our jaw's really going to drop. Well, drop with anger, probably, and upset. We had our big background foil press plates. We had the back ones. They're usually, what, round about £39.99 each. Two of them for £19.99. That's not within the club. And now we've got cartload with these. I am speechless. Mm -hmm. My gabba has never been as flabbered. <gasps> or gasted even. I mean, seriously. This is what happens when I take my eye off the ball. Um, and I'm busy doing other things and I don't see what's going on. I take advantage. But you should take advantage of the good prices. Um, and I would encourage you to do that today too. Let's see what you've got, Craig. Come on. Oh, what we're we going to do? Show me what this nativity collection can do. Well, we're actually going to focus on the one that is the Christmas scene. A Christmas scene. Now, you may be familiar with our larger dies that create the scene, you know, create a card scenes. Now, this is like a wee mini one. But what's good about this one too is it even goes through your Gemini Mini, which is exactly what I am going to use. Now, with these ones here, I'm using the Gemini Mini, but of course, they're still going to go through your large Gemini and even your uh, Gemini Junior. So we've got three of them. So if I take these ones here, so we have got the three dies that create the scene. Now, I've gone for our, our uh, gold luxury cardstock, so I've gone for glitter, matte, as well as mirror. Now, you just need to decide what colours you want to have in which form. So within this one here, we've got baby Jesus in the crib there. So let's go, I think, let's go for the uh, the matte or the satin i like to call it then we've got the next one with the three kings so let's go for the mirror for this one here and then you've got star of wonder and you've got that nice uh, backdrop here so we can do that within the glitter card you've even got your little ribbon that you can die cut out and add that as a finishing accent and then you've even got stamps as well so you can use that die if you want you can use the stamp if you want use the sentiments in conjunction you could have it because it's like a bauble that is actually uh, uh, coming downwards because you've got that stamp there it's up to you so let's run this one through our gem so let's start with the first one and as I say we're going to do this with the Gemini Junior we're not actually you could do the Gemini Junior because it's at the side of me but we're going to use the Gemini Mini for this one one pass through and as Leanne was saying earlier on and we're drawn about the tote bag mine is always at the side of me because I use it so often so if we take this one out now it's wafer thin dye it's what you already know and love from Asset Crafters Companion. But if I poke these little bits out, see how you've got that nice little ring with that little image, and you can see you've got the detail. Let's put a bit, I don't know, a bunch, 
Well, you, let's go for a white on the back. There we go, we can see that one better. So if you want to use them individually, you absolutely can. If you want to snip in, you know me, you know I like doing my decoupage, so you could add layers if you want. But then talking about layers, what we can do, we could carry on. We can now go on to the one with the three kings. So the one with the three kings, we will do in the mirror. Now, sometimes we'll see on uh, the social media the saying about your folder, just like your Gemini plates, it really, really is imperative, and I know Leanne would agree with this. Just like your folder, always remember to flip and rotate your folder. Some, some don't actually realise you can use the other side, so always flip and rotate, and that's going to stop your folders from actually buckling as much. So flipping that one over. And then, as I've done with the first one, we're going to run that one through. So we can just pop this one through again. This one then does the same idea, but what happens is you get a different layer. So if we pop these ones out, you've got the release holes. We can take that one out. We've now got the three kings. See how well that looks. You know, so whether you are want to use them individually, individually, that's up to yourself. So let's move that one out of the way. Let's take the last one. Now, this is our wafer thin die. It's our Gemini Mini, and we've got glitter card. The same power within our Gemini Mini as you would find within large Gemini or the Junior, but of course it's on a smaller form. Run that one through, and do you know what I'm actually just about to do as well? I'm going to pop that one on. Now look at this. Now, I know you're going to have to go up front for that one. Look, oh. that is how much suction it's got. Very easy to release. Just either push it forward or pull it back, and then that's it. Very, very easy, but that is how sturdy it is when it's on. It doesn't need to be a glass mat, but as long as it is on a, a nice, set, uh, clean surface. So if I pop these ones out, oh, I've already popped that one out. Here we go. Taking these ones out straight away, a glitter card, no issues whatsoever. Pop these bits out. I can take that one out. Now we have now got our three scenes all ready to build up. You can see them here. Now what we're going to do is let's take our dotty tape runner for these ones. What these would be good if you've got a double-sided adhesive sheets that would work really well as well. Or you could use your sprays or we can use the dotty tape runner. Because with the dotty tape runner, although we've got these fine areas, your adhesive dots will only go where you need it to. So let's just pop a wee bit onto here. So if we bring this one, now you can have a mix and a match, you know, you don't have to have them in the specific order, but what we're going to do with this one is let's take uh, baby Jesus here, we can pop it so that it is in front of the three kings, and we can just press that one into place. Then I'm going to turn that one around, we're going to add our adhesive dots once again, all the way around, just making sure we've got a nice bit of adhesive on the back, and then we can bring the third one in. And the way that the images have been stacked, that's where you get that stacked layered look. So we can pop that one over the top as well. And I like the look of the gold, but you can change the colors completely. It is entirely up to yourself. And then what I've done, you may have already got some kind of paper pad that is similar, but I've just done, you, you know me, Leanne, I like my mats and layers. I cannot do a card without a mat and layer. Simply cut, to be fair, can't do a card without foam pads. And I actually have to have words about you with that one. Apparently in the past, you, you maybe were a diss in the foam pads, uh, were you? I have to say, I don't love a foam pad. I, I honestly, I do, I, I know controversial, but I, I don't love a foam pad. The only time I will use a foam pad, Craig, is if I put a wet glue on the back of it. And that's usually my tacky glue. Yeah. And that's so that it doesn't fall to bits at a point in the future. Because I, I find with foam pads, um, over the years, the glue can dry out and I'm always worried about things coming apart. So I put a wet glue, if I want the dimension, mm -hmm. the, the even dimension, I'll put a wet glue on the back of the foam pad. I'm okay with that. Yeah, but yeah. In, especially on glitter cards and things, yeah. I don't think they give enough of addition. No, no, I would agree with you that. And now, whenever we do any of these shows or that, usually you'll find it. If I'm going to uh, attach a foam pad on a glitter card or that, so that's exactly what I do. You I put, put a bit of a call al tacky glue just yeah. on the back to hold it. But I get completely what you mean. But I just love it that even us here at Crafters Companion, I have my personal favourites. Yeah. Leanne, you've got yours, Debbie's, both Debbie's, Jan, Fiona. We've got all our own personal favourites. And, you know, 
we're not all uh, the same, are we? Absolutely not. And I think that's great. I love that about Crafters TV because what it does do is bring so many different ideas for you and you will find your way at home mm -hmm. and what you like to do and your preference. You can listen to everything that we espouse to you on Crafters Companion TV and then decide what works for you. And you might prefer Craig's way, you might prefer my way, Fiona's way, Debbie's way, Debbie or Debbie's way. It doesn't really matter as long as it works for you. Um, that is just my my personal preference because you know how much I love my Kalal glue absolutely Craig. yeah you love that I actually think that should be like renamed Leanne's <laughs> glue Leanne's <laughs> favorite glue but what I've just done as well with these little dots Leanne that you get with it as, as if Leanne doesn't know what's already on the stamp sheet you know but what I've done is a little bit of heat embossing just with the uh, the center here doesn't Even, that work really well it does it really, really does. And you don't need to do much at all to it. Just a little bit of heat embossing, you know, whether it is with your watermark ink pad, or I do love using our pigment pads with a bit of uh, embossing powder, even if it's uh, a clear one. But then there we go, a nice little card. It's a relatively simple card, but you could be broken that down if you wanted. You could use those three layers as three separate cards if you want. You might only want two layers. It's entirely up to yourself, but you can colour, uh, theme it whatever way that you like. And I just, I was really pleased with that one. I really nice love that, Craig. I think it's incredibly beautiful. It really makes a statement. Now, just to give you everybody a warning, that was limited stock. It's now very limited stock. You've all loved what Craig's done. And you really do need to check out your baskets quickly if you want to take advantage of that phenomenal price of £10.49 or 13.99 Craig I was thinking when you were showing that wouldn't that be lovely if people got that you could do a circle of card put them back to back a piece of ribbon through and use them to make little hanging ornaments for the Christmas tree how lovely would that be wouldn't that be look yeah. really lovely or you could do a little garland of them to hang them in the window and then I was thinking I mean we're talking about it being all year round actually take the sentiment or holy night away from that and just have that as a little topper if you're going to church fairs, if you're doing Sunday schools, if you're sending things into hospitals because people aren't very well, anything like that, that would be a lovely die for that because it's just got that really lovely feel to it. Lots of different uses throughout the year as well. Very, very limited now. So please do check out your baskets. That phenomenal price of £10.49 or $13.99 is absolutely incredible and it is a beautiful set of dies. Now, if you're a platinum member, it's only £8.39 or $11.90. I mean, that is a phenomenal deal, really, for that set of dice, 10 pieces in there. Really good statements. Um, however, it's all about you in this car, Lord Shaw. You have joined us. You've taken the time in your home. You're sat there with, I'm hoping, with a lovely warm drink, no matter what time of day it is, because it's a bit chilly here, unless you're in a hot climate, in which case we are very jealous of that. And I hope you've got something iced at hand. Um, but we've got some fabulous comments. So let's have a look. Let's see who's joining us today. We've got so many of you um, already inundated with comments. So let's have a little look and see where we are. This is great. Ange. Ange Lim on YouTube, she says, whoa, Leanne is the MC. Dro I need a mic so I can drop it for you, Ange. <laughs> drop the mic. Um, let the shenanigans begin. I've been warned, Ange. I'm in a different role here today. I have to be profesh. <gasps> so I can't have as many shenanigans as I would, although you never know. I mean, I'll, get, I'll start getting bored in 45 minutes and then it'll be all the shenanigans. You know what I'm like. Um, so stay with us, Ange. You never know what might happen. Um, Diana says, welcome back, Leanne. Thank you and Happy New Year to you all. Um, Ange again, Ange, she's put, Ange has got all the comments on here, Ange on YouTube. Uh, oh my gosh, that Nativity collection was my absolute favourite this past Christmas. It's classic and will never go out of style. You're absolutely right, Ange, and I think that demonstration that our uh, Craig showed us shows how timeless it is, actually. I agree with you. So definitely get shopped ahead and get those fantastic deals. Our fabulous Christine Coppenrath on Facebook uh, sends us chocolate goodies all the time, does Christine. And I haven't had a cuddle from her for too long. But our Christine says, afternoon, Leanne and Craig. Just be now, but we'll have to wait now. I've just popped out, but I'll have to wait. have to wait, and I want to see the show. So I think she's going to tune in later. Um... Christine says an opportunity to say how much she loves our card demonstrations and inspirations here on Crafters Companion TV. Thank you very much. Carol says it's great to see uh, everybody here. She can't wait to see what uh, Craig and I get up to. Hmm, who knows? Um, Malia on Facebook 
bought my daughter one of these minis for Christmas. She was so excited and said she can't wait to craft with it because now she has her own machine. I think that's a really good idea, actually, because, you know, it is a very safe machine, a very light machine, and a brilliant size if you are wanting to start people on their journey with crafting, not just the youngsters now family, but maybe somebody who's been admiring what you're doing but hasn't wanted to invest. The mini is absolutely a great place to start if you're wanting to gift it to someone um, and share with them the ab absolute joy of craft. Now, before we get over to our Craig and have a look at what other fabulous inspiration he's got, and don't forget, actually, if you love that card, vote, vote, because we've got a vote on all of Craig's demos, haven't we, during the show today, to go on the shelf of fame um, and to get voted on in the um, Last Chance Sunday, Demo of the Week. <gasps> I think you'll win. I think you'll win hands down. I'm just saying, I'm calling it. I predict a riot and I think our Craig's going to win. But let's see. We'll find out on Sunday, won't we? But do vote for one of his demos today and let us know which one is your favourite. Now, let's just have a look at these. These are our double-sided dies, which are incredible technology. It's a metal die, and I'm just going to whip one out of the packet to show you because I keep telling you what it is, and it would be a nice idea to show you exactly what I mean. So you see, in this package, you've got two metal dies, and each of these metal dies has a cutting side. So cutting side there, cutting side here. So you sandwich your die between two pieces of card, run it through your machine, and you will get two die cuts. Now, you've got two dies there, so if you're using your junior plates, you can do all four die cuts in one pass. Here's an example of the four die cuts here that you're going to get. You're getting die, die cut one, die cut two. <laughs> it's like the golden shot, isn't it? And then three and four down below. Stack them all up. And this is, the, oh my word, and this is the result that you get. There we go. I need to do it back to front, don't I, for myself, so you can see where I'm pointing. And this is the result you'll get. So with those two dies, four layers cut in one pass, layer it up, and that's the result you get. A brilliant deal here. You're paying less for this bundle of that posy and this mandala. They're normally £24.99 each. You're paying £19.50 or $23.50. If they're £24.99, they're going to be £29.99, I would hazard a guess. Um, and so you're paying £19.50, $23.50, and you're getting all of those. You're getting both of those. You're not choosing. You're getting the mandala and the posy. Eight layers you can cut there, those two beautiful designs, for a phenomenal price. And patented technology. You only get double-sided dies here at Crafters Companion because that's how phenomenal our designers are. They're always coming up with brand new ideas. Now, the next thing for you to have a look at, this has to be my deal of the show. And if I was going to encourage you to buy one thing in this cartload, I would encourage you to buy this because I guarantee you, this is the thing you will come back to time and time and time again. We always need, when we're sending cards, we need a good sentiment. We need a statement sentiment, we need to convey a message, we need to convey how we feel about somebody, and we want to tell those people and have them feel good. This range of sentiments of dies and stamps will do that for you. They are a phenomenal statement size. That beautiful, fine, brush script, die-cut font that you've got there, complemented by all of those amazing stamps. So with this one, you can say, just a note to say thanks, special thanks, thanks a bunch, thanks a million, thanks for everything, thanks so much, thanks for your help, and thanks for all you do. You've got all of those options with that die and then the complimentary stamps. And you can see with all of the different ones we've got here, for a special friend, a truly great friend, um, what does that one that say? It's hard to find a friend like you, I think that one. It's hard to find a friend and I think it's like you, you put on the end there. Absolutely phenomenal and beautiful statement sentiments. These are the sentiments that I go to time and time again. Family is such an important one at the moment, isn't it? We're either missing our family or we're cherishing our family or we're just appreciating our family and we all want to be able to hug our family again. So having a, a sentiment like this where we can be making our cards and sending it to the people that we can't see on a regular basis that we'd love to see, brilliant to have that and be able to convey those sentiments on our um, on our makes and then special love this special birthday wishes because you're special you're very special to a special little girl to a special little boy 
um, special on your special birthday special birthday wishes so many different um, examples of being able to put those together special delivery that could be for a baby or just for a gift in the post so many different ways you can use these and buying through oh, did you say thinking there I love that you're always thinking of you on your thinking of you on your birthday you could put thinking of you on your anniversary thinking of you on your special day and so many different ways of putting that together um, and don't forget buying three getting six free getting nine in total and these are a really good size these are going to make a statement um, a central statement on a six by four card or on your five by sevens and larger cards maybe your scrapbook pages um, or maybe even on a gift tag for a gift they're going to look phenomenal and too often we don't have this sentiment and I, I've surprised myself with my collection how many times I've used this sorry collection so we've got sorry you're leaving sorry for your loss um, sorry can you ever forgive me I had the send that to my husband when I ate his chocolate at Christmas uh, we're so sorry I'm ever so sorry um, sorry I missed your birthday sorry to hear you're unwell really a fabulous I've used this more than I thought I ever would and brilliant just to have it there at my fingertips in my collection and um, then we've got obviously with sympathy we you know never realize we need a fabulous sympathy sentiment or the right words to say until we need them having it there in your collection ready when you do need them is a wonderful thing um, and then of course we've got our fabulous celebration as well i'm hearing as i'm talking to you how incredibly busy these are and how many of you are checking these out as i'm talking to you this is definitely my top recommendation for you in the show this is the thing that's going to stay in your stash for the next five months five years 15 years 25 years and you're going to keep coming back to them they're classic they're not going to go out of date we're always going to want to send these messages and they make a real statement on your card to buy three get six free and have nine in total is truly phenomenal that is my top tip for you in this show and you're taking my advice they're flying out now gemini mini back in stock we've been out of stock for too long because it is such a loved little machine by all of you out there you absolutely adore it um it's so easy to use craig showed you there when we we're doing the nativity demonstration just how easy it is to use we're going to do more demonstrations on it next this is definitely a brilliant little machine whether you are a seasoned die in the water been crafting for many years like myself you just want it on your desktop to whiz your sentiments through that sentiment collection here that i was telling you about all fit in the mini so if you're getting the sentiment collection having your mini on your desk beside you as you need a sentiment just to whiz it through with that folder makes life so much more quick and easy i that's how i use mine my combination is my sentiments and my mini together um, and not forgetting that you're getting for that 29.99 pounds or 44.95 dollars you're getting this phenomenal craft bag free which of course your mini will fit inside along with all of your other crafting um goodies i've got one for my sewing at home and one for my paper craft and every single pocket i mean it's crammed with all of the storage and all of the pockets all the way around the outside and extra pockets and storage on the inside for you as well not only have you got those really comfortable padded grab handles you've also got your shoulder strap which has that fantastic padding on there very comfortable and long enough you can extend this i must just show you that actually this is a really good point let me just show you this um, when we design product here at crafters companion we try to think of everything and i'm just going to show you this on me we made it so that this handle extends really long because it might be that you want to hands free with your craft bag now we're not all made equal in size are we and so i need a longer strap because you've got to you've got more you've got to wrap around more of me than you would have to wrap around of craig let's put it that way <sighs> trying to keep it polite but it means that you've got all oh, the shenanigans have started look already here's the shenanigans i haven't even gotten to five o'clock and the shenanigans have started but it means you can get it across body and comfortably and adjusted if you want now you're absolutely snapping this mini up because you've been so disappointed that we haven't had it in stock the fact that it's back in stock and we're giving you this phenomenal craft bag for free oh okay a quarter of our cartload stock of the mini already gone you're absolutely loving it i'm not surprised so i'm going to stop waffling and we're going to go and have a look at our craig and see why the mini is such a phenomenal machine it's just 
phenomenal because it is, but it's surprising to a lot of you. When the Gemini Mini first came out, and I fully understand you were thinking, I've already got a Gemini, I've got a large Gemini, do I really want a really small one? You were totally blown away by actually how many of your guys at home go through the Gemini Mini. You've got so, so many of them that go through. And obviously they are going to go through the folders too. So I thought what we will do is let's do a little card. Now with this card here, I'm only going to make a smidgen of, uh, or use a smidgen of uh, the dies that are on uh, the actual collection accessories. So let's take the ladybugs for these ones here. Now with the actual ladybugs, for instance, when it comes to the die set, the Garden Friends, it tells you you've got four dies in it, but in actual fact you've got more than that because, for instance, your uh, ladybugs is actually four, four layers within that one, so you're actually getting more than four dies. So what we can do is, if we go with black, so on one of the dies it's going to be the backdrop of the ladybug, so let's cut that one on, and we're going to do the other one and in red. And what's also fabulous about this one, and I find this is great for, as I like to call it, Leanne, my bit box. You know, you've got that box that you just put in all your bits of cardstock that, you know, you don't think you'll be really using, but you don't want to throw them away, you want to keep them, and then this is where you're going to be actually making uh, any little die cut uh, toppers yourself, whether they're small. Some people think as a word of topper for your card, that actually means a good sizable topper. It's not. It could be something really small, such as these uh, ladybugs, or the dragonfly, or the butterfly. It is up to yourself. But let's pop these ones out. Now, what we can do as well is, if I take this one out, these little dots that come out here, what I do, now, I don't keep all of them, but what I like to do is, if I don't want to add a gem or a pearl, but I want a little accent into the corner, these are going to be great to be able to use. There's many times that I'll actually just die cut the body of the ladybug on its own, in a specific colour so I can get these tiny little embellishments to pop in the corner on my cards or projects. So what we'll do is let's pop them out the way for now so we can bring these ones in. So you've got a ladybug, the, the wings are open and fluttering away and we've got one that is just a uh, stay in stance. So for this one we could again use our dotty tape runner or we can use our Collal Tacky glue. We're in our little fine applicator. You could be using that. Whatever you feel comfortable with, or if you have a preference, and I'm going to pop that one over the top. I've got a tiny little, tiny, tiny little bit, and I'm going to just press that. Now, with the tacky glue, you just need to grab it just for a few seconds or so, and it takes hold, and you know that it's tacked really well, and then that's you ready to start crafting with it. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Well, you, Craig, yeah. our Ange, our Ange of shenanigan fame, Ange, from shenanigan fame on YouTube, um, she is loving your ladybug. She is loving your ladybug, Craig. She thinks they're so fun. So, so cute, so small and so dinky. Yeah, but they, they are, um, they are uh, so everybody's taking the mickey out of me, Craig, I have to share. Apparently when I'm in the box with my glasses on, I look a little bit dinky and cute as well. I mean, I'm going to take that because not very often I'm called dinky or cute. So thanks for both of those things. Um, but with those, with those little dies, it's, they're amazing, aren't they, Craig? Because um, even though they're small, they can make quite a nice little statement, especially on like a little gift tag or a smaller card, don't you find? Absolutely, yeah. And what I'm going to do with this one is kind of just following on what you've just said, Leanne. I'm going to use three of them. Now, excuse my tape. It is our low-tack tape. And while Leanne was uh, just chatting a wee minute ago, what I was doing, don't know if you actually kind of hear, well, Johnny and Charlotte, we've got in the gallery, they were wondering what I was doing while Leanne was speaking. And I was just taking some of the days of just off the back here. So, it, no, it's, I don't have a doggy at home. So, yeah okay it is not that Johnny it is just uh, any of the fibre just coming off my uh, top here so in case you see the the purple bits that's what it is mm -hmm. so I'm going to pop this one here and I'm creating a bit of a square now what you can then do is pop that one into place now I'm going to use the red though so this is a red matte card as well as our black same with obviously our ladybugs now I'm actually going to use parakeet for this now you might think what Ooh. Craig parakeet no, I am. So I've just masked that one off and I'm going to go in with my blending tool, which is on the show as well. So we can pop that one on. Oh, did I just hear that? Craig, right? 
Craig, I've just had some fantastic news, some exciting news incoming. <gasps> For so long, our ink pads have been out of stock because we've had trouble shipping them in. And then obviously with what's happening in the world, which we're not going to talk about, we don't need to. Um, but then it stopped manufacturing happening. And so we were out of stock for quite a while. <gasps> They're all back in back. stock on the website, Craig, the ink pads. So if you've been waiting, and um, let me just tell you that uh, tomorrow, I've got, a, um, I've got a masterclass with ink pads. <gasps> so if you, if you've been wanting ink pads, uh, get ahead on the website now, get your ink pads bought, and then sit back tomorrow in sweet temptation and knowledge and be smug and smirk at all of your fellow crafters and to know that you're going to get them and then tape the show so you've got all the techniques. Because I have got a ridiculous amount of demonstrations and techniques planned for actually not masterclass, Colour Me Happy tomorrow for Colour Me Happy. We've got all of the ink pad tutorials coming up so if you've been waiting for them and you've been desperate to get your favorite colors whiz along to the website because they're available for you i know what i'll be well actually you know that's a good thing as well i'll be in because i've got a few shows tomorrow as well i'll be able to watch while i'm doing bits of prep within the middle because i have to be honest as leanne alluded to with things going on in the world that we won't go on about being at home when uh, obviously we're not here just to reduce the numbers it means i can work at home and watch as well but actually i can do it next door when i'm prepping for shows so perfect even more ideas and inspiration now in case you wonder what i'm doing i am a bit ocd now if i bring this one in i actually didn't want the color over the edges there so what i'm going to quickly do is i'm going to pop that to the side we're going to redo that again and we're just going to be a wee bit more careful you could put a bit more tape if you wanted to but i'm going in at the center and what i'm doing and it's with our water reactive ink pads and I'm not going to say much because if we've got Leanne tomorrow going over them all I'm going to lay down that color now I know on the show we have got the square blending pads as well as the circle now this is actually a good time to ask Leanne some people will say to me you know when or how do you use the squares over the circles. I like to say it's a personal preference. Is that the case, a personal preference, or do you find it something different? It can be a personal preference. For example, I know that Sarah, she loves to use the small round ones for everything. Um, and so it's just what you feel more comfortable with. Yes, I think that is good advice, Craig. When we developed the range with the oblong and the small circle, they were developed so that the oblong did larger area fills, so backgrounds more quickly for you. And the smaller round ones were for detail application where you don't want to get ink where you, where you wouldn't like it to be. Um, or maybe just colouring in a small area on an embossing folder or doing some small distressing around the edge of a card, maybe a vignette, something like that. So they were brought out with two very distinct uses, a large background fill or smaller detail. However, it is very much whatever feels most comfortable in your hand. They will work whatever in whichever way you want to use them, really yeah. they will. Yeah. That's it. It's a bit like the D's of it, personal preference, whatever you feel more comfortable yes. with. And I'm always with the, uh, well, actually, I'm saying I'm always with the square one. It was maybe over the last six months or so, Leanne, that I've gone over to the square ones. I was the circle ones for a while. And then I can't remember, there was obviously a reason that I used these one day. And I thought, actually, I feel I, I personally had a better flow with them. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've gone over into the square ones. But yeah. Yeah, it is my preference too. I do, I do prefer the oblong one. Um, but again, you will find what's most comfortable for you at home. You will. Fab. Now, can you see how we've now got that nice square within the middle and the square with the parakeet? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the ladybugs. So I'm going to pop these ones on with a bit of foam pad here. And I'm conscious that I've taken a bit more time than I needed to. So what I would do, and this is uh, another uh, idea or tip for you, because obviously it's water reactive, it still stays wet for a wee bit longer, but I still want to use my foam pads. So what I would do is pop a little bit of a collal tacky glue onto the back, and then that's just going to initially give you that soak through into kind of like the fibers, and it's going to dry and give you that uh, strong bond. But of course, if you didn't want to do that, but you want it tight, then uh, if you use your glue gel, then that would work too, or even your all-purpose would work as well. I tell you, let's go for, pop that one into there. I'm going to pop this one here, and we're going to bring this one into place here. Let's pop this one down. 
just into that bit there. And then what I'm going to do, like I was talking about earlier on, these little dots that also come out that I like to use sometimes instead of a gem or a pearl. What I'm going to do is just do one, two, three. And then if I bring my pokey tool, I'm going to dip the tip just in the, the bit of the glue. And I'm going to pop one, two, and then three. And don't ever fear with the glue because uh, our glue dries clear. So if you see any bits of white, well, Craig, I've never seen that before. You know, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, this old dog has just learned a new trick. I think that's a really good idea, Craig, because I've always just swiped those bits into the bin. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but that is real, and I like the dipping the pokey tool into the glue as well. The, that's a really good top tip. Yeah, well, I like to do that. And uh, what I do a lot as well, Leanne, with this uh, ladybug is I actually don't always use it as a ladybug. I use it so that I can get these little Isn't circles. For sometimes, for instance, a man's card. Now, you know, many, I wouldn't mind having gems or pearls on my card, but maybe some wouldn't. But you want to have that little bit of detail, that little uh, accessory in the corner. You know, do it in craft card, black, navy, whatever colour theme you're doing. And it just adds that little something without it being a gem or a pearl. Uh, wouldn't they be lovely in mirror card as well? Yeah, it could be. Mirror card. Uh, wait, is that the mirror card there? Yeah, yeah oh. so this is our, our red satin. red yeah. one, so yeah. yes, perfect, absolutely perfect. Yeah. I love that, Craig, really, I do. Just You're these really little nice. things. And again, it's these good things about uh, having us on Crafters TV, isn't it? You know, we, mm. uh, we pick up these bits. And then another thing, I'm not sure if you managed to catch up this morning with um, Wake Up Call. Now, Nikki had messaged in saying how to make a very quick and simple easel card. So this is what we've done. We were able to do it within five minutes to show her. And I said, at some point today, what we'll do, we'll use it. So let's do that. Let's bring this into place. Now, I'm not going to spend any more time decorating the bottom of the easel. What I'll do is I'll bring in a card that I had done earlier. I'm going to press that into place. So I'll show you what this one looks like I would come along with one of our stamped sentiments or one of our little dies or even any of the sentiments that come with a fancy font but if we leave it like that one here again just a little banner it could be another ladybug if you wanted to and with this one this was where I'd come up with here and the little bit different I'd done here that was actually one of our this was our parakeet pigment ink pads and I use our clear embossing powder just to give that bit of a sheen but don't ever ever be afraid to have a mix with colours because sometimes it does work I personally feel that parakeet works well in this forum have a wee bit of play and see what you come up with I really love that Craig I think it's pure elegant simplicity it's absolutely gorgeous and I do really like a nice clean elegant mm -hmm. simple card like that sometimes I think Sometimes we can just put too much pressure on ourselves to make them too fussy and yep. full of things when actually just something like that, a lovely little pop of colour in the background, a couple of lovely little die cuts and, you've, and you're good to go. I think those sentiments that I was showing you, you know, my favourite sentiments, I think one of those cut along the bottom of your exactly. easel there, maybe on a little panel, would really just bring that together, wouldn't it? It would be lovely. If and we so have if you time, are... we might do it, eh? Sorry? If we have time, we might do it. Yeah, eh? yeah, 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 why, why not? not? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, if we have got time and you want to do it, I think that would look lovely yeah. on there. Because those sentiments work with everything. They exactly. really do. I love that. I think it's fantastic. Now, we've got comments, Craig, and we've got... Um, now, this is... I love the YouTube names because I'm sure this person... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this person is not called Four Holidays on YouTube. Um, however, Four Holidays on YouTube has said, I love this sentiment set. Probably my most used Crafters Companion product... That is a bold statement. My most used Crafters Companion product. That's letting you know exactly what I'm saying. It's the thing I go back to time and again. I paid much more than the deal today, but I would do it again in a heartbeat. Now, if you don't believe me, for holidays on YouTube is telling you that these are the best sentiments and really, really, really usable. Thank you very much for that. Um, and I must just shout out to our team, Tammy, Tammy, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to get your surname correct, Tammy. Tammy Sir, S-U-H-R, hope that's correct, on Facebook, says, Fabulous close-ups. I just can't get over how fantastic the new camera setups are and shows off the talents of the camera operators. 
Tammy, I think you are right. I mean, how amazing to be in this fabulous new space for all of us. But to know that it's making a difference for your viewing pleasure at home with the fabulous people that we've got here. And actually, if you watched um, the Wake Up Call show with Craig this morning, our Charlotte of the fabulous pencil drawing stag fame. Charlotte is on the cameras today and she's responsible for all these fabulous close-ups that you're experiencing. So thank you very much, Charlotte, and brilliant that you're noticing a difference there at home. Um, Susie says, I love a double-sided die. Um, Crafty AJ on YouTube says, we get great deals as platinum members. Why not remind newbies? Why not? Let's do it. Okay, Crafty AJ, we're going to do it for you. Um, that they also get a 20% discount on their first order. Uh, do they really? I think we need to check that. It's worth jumping in. Well, thank you very much, Crafty AJ. <gasps> you do? You get 20% off your first order. Well, if you've never ordered, ordered from us before, get ordering. Fill up your It's a cartload show. Load up your cart and get 20% off the deals. I mean, it's, we may as well just stand in the car park and give it away. Just say, roll up. We'll do a drive through. We'll just pack the bags and say, drive through. Here we are, Craft Falls. Take it. We're just giving it away. Um, okay. Then we've got Mary. She says, I'm thinking the Nativity Collection was my first collection purchase. It's so beautiful. Um, absolutely brilliant. Thank you. I mean, basically, just lots of love for all of Craig's demonstrations. Um, Everybody's saying that Craig's tips are fantastic, especially with the little bits on the ladybird and the glue on the back of the foam pads. Um, and then we've got, oh, Michael Nugent on Facebook says, we bought our two granddaughters the wheelie tow trolley with loads of crafters companion gear, including the mini. Ideal in these lockdowns, ain't that the truth, Michael? Using Zoom to do our own craft sessions along with your demos. Grandma, Grandma Shirley is the leader. Oh, follow the leader, 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 follow the leader, leader. Grandma Shirley, big up to you, Grandma Shirley. Actually, I did message my son's partner, Annie, and say, um, Grandma is going to be on cartload at four o'clock. If you'd like to pop Ada in front of the telly and see if she recognises Grandma. Big up to all the grandmas out there. I'm new in the club and I'm loving it. Um, Diana says, grandma. sorry? And a young grandma. Oh, a young grandma. I don't feel young, Craig. But yeah, I suppose I am. I did you have are. Peter quite young. You I had Peter when I was 24. So yes, I'm, I'm, I'm in, on the younger spectrum. But that's good because it means I'll be able to do all of the skipping to the shops and running around and rolling on the floor. And I'm really looking forward to doing the craft lessons as well. <gasps> Oh, for lockdown to be over and be able to do that. But we can get all the practice in in the meantime. And of course, if you are locked down and um, you're joining us, then you are very welcome. And it's wonderful to be in your home with you um, and for you to invite us in and um, share these couple of hours a week. It really is. This is your opportunity to get all of the best deals at all of the best prices. And we've got here a fine example of that. One of our favourite packs of cardstock, one of our go-to ranges, the Centura Pearl collection that you've got here. Um, really, you've got 108 sheets in here, which is phenomenal. Um, and if you buy this for £14.98 or $20.98, you get the A4 and A5 and then we give you the A6 free, which is phenomenal. So you get all three packs. You get the A4, the A5 and the A6 in the colour collection that you choose. And um, the A6 is free for £14.98, $20.98. Really phenomenal value for money. And as we know, Centura Capel cardstock, absolutely loved by our crafters. Fabulous 300 plus GSM weight. Fabulous for your card bases. Brilliant for your matting and layering. Amazing for your die cutting. Those sentiments that we were talking about look superb when die cut from Centura Pearl, can I tell you. So if you're getting your dies, put in your Centura Pearl to go alongside it, or if you're getting your Centura Pearl, get the dies, they're on such a fantastic price. The two are a marriage made in heaven. Now, talking about metallics, we've also got our fabulous liquid metallic inks on the show at, quite frankly, a ridiculous price. Half price, these are, £12.49 or $19.97. And you're looking at the colour collections in a row. So you've got your rich metallic, you've got your vintage metallic, and you've got your antique florals at the bottom there. These are the colours that you're going to be able to achieve. And I'm just flashing these at you so you can see that beautiful, 
brushed aluminium effect that lovely subtle matte metallic look you get with this it is very very classy very high end and exceptional and they are very easy to use in each of those little boxes that you get you're going to get four individual pots of the ink and you can see that lovely metallic color, uh, color in there 12 pounds 49 or 19.97 for a box of four what is that a pot well it's it's around five dollars a pot five to, yes it's around five dollars a pot which is phenomenal value for money and around three pounds i think three pounds 20 or something like three pounds 10 three pounds 12 there you go um which is absolutely incredible value for money they're half price it's amazing now a couple of little things you can do i'll show you that and then now craig is going to have a play with them and show you some of the things you can do why i i know i, know, I mean no pressure craig you're going to be great i know it i feel it in my water i know you are going to be phenomenal with this craig no pressure pet just just do your best we're all friends here together um these are phenomenal because you can do your spritzing techniques with them you can see there you can do your water techniques you can use them on acetate you can use them on vellum you can paint onto your mirror card you can paint onto your centura pearl you can use them as an ink pad and use them as direct to stamp you can do all of your different background techniques be an artist in your own right if you're like our fiona i'm not but she's phenomenal paint your um, images if that's what you'd like to do just use them for a lovely splashy back background technique and do some silhouette die cutting if that's what you want to do the world is your absolute oyster with these and um, in fact our Craig is going to show you just how amazing these are I I am I am and I am and I am yeah I'm in your am and I am and I am and What's it would an be completely <laughs> wrong of me to even attempt to do this without having a three-way master class so do you know what we're going to do just to get rid of these uh, you know beads of sweat <laughs> Leanne can step us through. Oh! <laughs> no, I've got some black card here okay. ready to go. So we've got some, because I think you would say as well, when it comes to the metallic, black is obviously where it's really, really going to shine. Well, I say obviously shine, you're going to get that metallic look coming through. You've done all these different backgrounds and effects that Leanne showed you, whether it is stamping, whether it is spritzing, whether it is obviously your backdrop, but even things just like a wash, you could do as well, can't you? So although this is our black matte card stock, Leanne, can you still go over with some water first before the ink or what would you do is go straight yes, on with the you ink you can do either actually have you mixed your inks first so Craig? not yet i've not no so. so give your inks a little mix up because what you need to do is make sure that the liquid metal that comes in the pot is agitated and distributed through the pigment that you've got in there so this is a liquid pigment which has real metal liquid aluminium infused through it to give you that lovely brushed metal look now if you've got something like a cocktail stick or a porky tool, it's sometimes best to take the lid off and give it a, give it a stir. Because okay. if you shake it too much, it'll get very bubbly and frothy and you'll find it difficult to see the colour. If you've got a pipette or something like that, it's best just to agitate it. So touch the bottom of the pot and then agitate. You'll feel it's thicker where that liquid metal is. Oh, yeah. Can you feel how thick it is in the bottom yeah. there? And then you're going to stir that through and you'll see the metallic start to swirl in and through the colour and the pot that you've got. Absolutely. Um, and it, you can feel it then loosens up and it all becomes very liquid. Yeah, and yeah. you know then that it is mixed thoroughly and it's ready to be used. Then you can just take a little bit on a brush and paint it onto your black cardstock. Um, and is that a dark purple colour you've got there? It Craig? is, yeah, but we'll go for if, a lighter, a different. If we can't see this one, we'll pick one of the gold ones out. Right, and do let's it with do that. that. But let's do it with a purple and see, see okay. where we are. And we can brush that onto the black cardstock there. And um, are you changing? Uh, I popped it into the water, just ah, so I was just uh, taking it back out there. Okay. Uh, so just in case you're wondering, I'm using the antique floral for this one. Okay, little drop in, and then just paint it onto your card. And cut, so, and then let it dry. So give it a shake and a waft. I can, straight away, I can see how you this can is see it, can't alive. you? Now, as it dries, the metallic effect becomes more obvious. Now, what I like to do with these, remember, um, there you go, look at that. You've got that lovely, when it dries, see a little bit of a waft, what a difference it makes. It does. And how it's changed the colour of that purple cardstock there. Now, I'm going to come back to my favourite sentiments again, because I like to cut them out on black cardstock and then paint them over with this metallic ink, and you get beautiful metallic sentiments for your cards. 
Isn't that really lovely? Now, Craig, when that dries fully, yep. let that leave, put that, have you got another bit of black card there, love? What was that, sorry? Have you got another bit of I black card? I do indeed, card? I've got a few so bits. Put that Ready? one that you've got to one side and let it got, dry. Yeah. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Have you got a rubber stamp? I have, uh, oh no, have we got a rubber stamp? Have no, we, don't worry. We, we don't. No, don't worry. Have you got another colour of ink there? Let's do another colour of ink. I do. And have you got a spritzer? I do indeed. Okay, Always got let's a spritzer. do that. So let's just put a little splodge of ink on and then spritz it. And the reason I asked you to move the other one to the other side is when it dries, it becomes permanent. Got you. So for your layering and for your mixed media techniques, it's phenomenal because you can do lots of different layering over the top of it. Um, and you can do different techniques. You could go over the top with another colour and it won't budge the colour underneath. You could do a purple background and then stamp over the top with a gold floral and you will have gold on top of purple because the inks are opaque um, and it works really, really well. So instead this time, instead of doing a whole big sweep across the top, just do a little inch square there, Craig, with that gold. Okay. Um, and you'll see how vibrant this gold is how brilliant this looks on the black card and then when we waft it and dry it how it's not going to move when we add um some water to it it's so really really go. good so many things you can do with it and i think the thing for this is i mean obviously in a cartload and Pick then let, give that a waft and let it dry in a cartload we can't show you all of the techniques we've got so many different things to show you but what this will do is show you the real metallic sheen you get from these inks and then we can encourage you to go and watch the master classes um, that we've done on these metallic inks we've done a whole two hour master class on these i have sarah has and we've done them on many we've done them on our color me happy shows we've got a plethora of fabulous um, tutorials for all, for you from me, from Fiona, from Sarah, from uh, the Debbies as well, I do mm -hmm. believe. And I think you've had them on as well, Craig, yeah. from memory. So all of us showing you our own personal take on them and how we like to use them, which means when you get these home for that phenomenal price, you're going to be able to um, practice and use them in lots of different ways. Watch back and craft along with us using your metallic inks. Let's have a look after you've wafted there, Craig. So it's coming um, there. It's, it's drying a little bit. You did a put a lot bit. on. Now, just on the corner where it's dry, if you just get a wet brush with yep. no ink on, just a wet brush, and we're not going to go right over the top of that whole thing because where the ink's still wet, it will move. Okay. But on the bottom corner where it's dry, yeah. if you just paint some water over that, yep. it'll stay still. Go back or go over onto your black card. Onto. Go right across it. Yeah. So you're painting the white, you're painting across the gold, all the way across on the black with the water. And it that won't, way. can you see how it's not ah, moving? Got you. It's gone permanent. So it dries. Once it's dry, it will not move. Yeah. Um, now, however, what I'd like you to do is the same, underneath there, the same one inch square. Okay. Um, with your square brush, again, with the gold ink, just on the same piece of card. On the same fine. piece? Yep, just anywhere on that card, just a little one inch square. Lovely. Now, immediately wash your brush. Wash it, yep. And then with the water, immediately go and paint over that and just drag it down the card while it's still wet. Now, see how you can cover wow. a load of space with a small amount yeah. of ink. Because when you go straight in with your water, now when that dries, you'll get that lo lovely metallic gold wash all the way down that card. It will move. You can do watercolour effects yeah. with it yeah. when you go straight in with the water. However, if you let it dry, you can then do layering with other things over the top and water techniques and spritzing over the top will not have the ink moving. They're the two main properties mm -hmm. of our metallic inks. Yeah. Phenomenal for your mixed media projects. I can't encourage you enough to go along and watch the master classes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think we should all comment there and just let Craig know how well he did there uh -huh. in that little uh, metallic ink school. Oh, thank you very much for that. I'm very impressed, but Craig. It just goes to show, because I'm always openly, and we've had this conversation as well, so within the team, we always have that area where we feel more comfortable with. And obviously, as of late, I, I've been working on my full spectrum noir. And, you know, obviously, before everything that's gone, in, or gone on in the world, what I was actually doing, which you didn't know, whenever Leanne was in doing a colour me happy or that, I was actually sitting in the gallery and learning and watching as well. So obviously that was before everything was going on in the world. So it goes to show that, you know, even we are learning, you know, whether it is obviously Fiona or Jan, you know, but then the two Debbies as well are spectacular when it comes to these. So 
although you tend to see me doing a lot of you know the die cutting or stamping you know it's good for me to actually just come all the way back here and learn more when it comes to these and these are just that metallic within them is just spectacular there's no way I could have done this bit without not having Leah in there oh doing it. Craig that's so kind of you sweetie. you know you do a good job don't do yourself down and actually Suzanne Parent on YouTube says you were doing a good job Craig following her instructions he did do a brilliant job um, Malia on Facebook says these liquid inks are fun and make great backgrounds Mary Pat 1000 on YouTube says she loves the metallics and Vicky Kuro Chickney I think oh, I mean I'm trying your name but I'm not sure I've got that right Vicky Kuro Chickney I think on Facebook let me know if I've said it wrong and I apologize profusely I've tried sat watching you on the big TV with the husband hey we haven't had any telfies no. <gasps> Get your telfies in. I'm so excited about telfies. And also, get all of your votes in for your favourite demonstration from our Craig. At the moment, you're voting for the lovely Nativity one and the little Ladybird one. I know which one my favourite is. I'd be voting I'd be for Ladybird right now. But there's so much more to see during this cartload. Um, keep getting your comments in. Send us your telfies. Send us your snow photographs if you've got them. Send us pictures of things you've made with the products that we've got on this cartload show. I'd love to see what you've been doing with those fabulous sentiments that I keep telling you about and our nativity range and anything you've done with a mini actually uh, to that point. Let us see what you've been making at home. And um, while you're getting ready to do that, while our Craig's getting himself ready for his next demonstration, why don't we have a look at this fabulous collection of stamps, which are our quirky sentiment stamps now these are these are as our joseph would say right up my straza uh, because they are incredibly funny um, not that i'm a funny person i'm not uh, but i like to put funny things on my cards i'm not always one for gushing heartfelt sentiments but i do like to take the michael out of my friends every now and again and this set of sentiments gives me a little bit of both uh, which I love and you're getting now how many are you getting all of these you're never getting all of these that I've got all of these boards here and all of these stamps for 21 pounds and 25 dollars you never are it should be 54 pounds 78 my word I will go to the bottom of our stairs and paint myself purple really that is a fantastic deal so let's have a look at some of the ones you've... you got this you got this when you get this collection in your basket because they're fantastic really um and look inhale confidence exhale doubt go make a fairy tale and live in it i love that one go and make your own fairy tale and live in it the bet well, the best way i'm going to turn this around so I can say, the best way out is always through so you see there is some fantastic um real inspirational ones in here that are just a little bit different. When you can't find, find the sunshine, be the sunshine. I would say that is our Craig sentiment in life because he is always a ray of sunshine. It doesn't matter when you see him, he's got a smile for you, he's got a good word for you, he's just always exuberantly happily, happy, loving and living life and it's infectious. And I think if I was to say you were a sentiment, Craig, I would say you were that sentiment. If you, can't, if you can't see the sunshine, be the sunshine. Because he's a sunshine in so many people's lives, honestly. You can be have the worst day. You see, Craig, big smile. You feel better. Already you do. Um, and that's what I love about these sentiments. You can match them to people. They can remind you of people. You can send cards to those loved ones. And you can send a little bit of fun to them too, which is amazing. Um, one of these ones here... I think, uh, have I made you tear up, Craig? Not quite. No, no, I tried. Know, I, I, was, I was, you know, when the, the chin and that, oh, I was like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh I'm like, oh, like, don't come back to me. Please don't it. come back to me. You know, the jaw was going there. <laughs> but it's true. I only, ever, I only ever speak the truth. This one down here, I won't be impressed by technology until I can download food. I won't be impressed by technology until I can download food. Thank you very much. Um, We've got here, you don't have to be perfect to be beautiful. Somebody, chocolate doesn't ask a silly question, chocolate understands. It absolutely does. The best antiques are old friends. Re I mean, this is just a sample of some of the things that you've got in here. They're really, really um, fabulous, fabulous sentiments. And I think I've got two sets of the same boards there. You are getting them 
you are getting them all for the phenomenal price of £21 and $25, saving a fantastic amount of money. And our Craig is going to show you just how fabulous they are to use. I sure am. These are the perfect stamps, whether you want to do any little tags. For your gifts, you can be doing them as well. Use them to create your backgrounds as well. You know, if you've seen one of the shows I've done last week, uh, I used a stamp to create a background. Of course, use it as a foreground as well. Maybe you even want to pop it in its sentiment. It's up to yourself. But what we can do with this one, we'll do a little bit of matte and layering here. Now, in case you want to know, I have got this pattern paper. This one is from Sarah's Vintage Lace Collection. So, matting and layering all the way round. And I'm going to go all the way round with my tape runner. And we're going to pop this one on. This is one of our uh, lilac pastel, or as you guys stateside say, pastel, which I just love. I absolutely love when you say that. <laughs> oh, I, I no, apologise. Can I just apologise? Uh, I'd like to apologise to all of our visitors um, in, in the greatest United States of America for that absolutely appalling uh, attempt at an American accent. See how when it comes to me and Leanne, I can go there and then I just slowly, slowly go downhill. Although I have it on good authority that you guys states, I love it when I say that. So there we go, you know, just waiting for that yeah, one. They're just being kind, stop. Craig. Yeah, they probably are. They yeah, probably they're, just, are. They're, just, they're just being kind. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's, that, was, that was very interesting, I have to say. <laughs> I would like that actually recorded so I can have that just play out whenever a text message lands on my phone. <laughs> would you be able to do that for me later? I, Leanne, I would do anything for you. Thank you, you know darling. That. <laughs> you know that. There we go. Gosh, could you imagine that? Oh, it's nothing worse, I think. You're my voice. Was your ringtone? No, oh, no. Screechy voice. Now, what we're going to do with this one is I've taken just a piece of our uh, smooth stamping card and I'm also going to bring in just my little stamping platform. And the good things with these as well, I'm going to just give that a wee bit of a wipe, is all of these stamps, because they're really, they, they're <laughs> small, but they're a, a, a nice small. That might not make sense, but what I mean by that is they're not overly large, not overly powering, so they're going to fit nicely onto your small platform. But as I said right at the start, expand upon it if you want to use them for your backgrounds, you can do. And what I'll do is I'm going to dig out the card I'd done last week that I used one of these as a background, give you an example, and I'll post that onto my social media. So I'm going to pop that one on. So because I just cleaned my stamping platform, it was still a bit damp, which meant my stamp wasn't going to stick to it. So I've just dried that off and we're good to go. Now for this one, I was going to use my quick dry. And would you believe it, the one <coughs> that Sarah was using earlier on, it seems to have forgotten to put it back, was the black one. So what we can do, let's get my other ones here. Let's go for, let's go for a deep grey, I say deep grey, let's go for anthracite as well. Sometimes it's quite good if you don't want an overpowering power in black, uh, a deep grey can work really well. It's a bit like your alcohol proof inks. If you want to colour with your alcohol proofs but you don't want to use the black, flagstone's quite a good one as well because it gives you that depth but it's not overpowering with the black. So what we can do is I'm going to stamp first. Now I'm not overly concerned where I'm going to pop it onto this cardstock because I'm going to bring in one of my layering stamps or my nested die, sorry. And I'm going to pop this one on. Ideally, if I'm at home a little bit more time, I would use my large stamping platform. And then what I could then do is if I wanted that anthracite to be even more, that little bit powering, I could then re-stamp it. And then because we've got the largest stamping platform, if I bring this one in, it means I'm going to get it in the exact same place every single time. And you're just enhancing that colour. But for time and speed, I'm going to do it the once. But even then, you can still see you've got that crisp, I mean, honestly, Clean. Craig, I, I think that looks fabulous. Yeah, yeah. I do. I think I love that grey. It's very subtle, very subtle. Um, but it, it's actually, I'm going to use the word classy, Craig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's classy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not too in your face. It's very nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I like to do grey gray when it comes to my stamping, mm. get my words out. I do still like to do little bits of matting and layering with black cardstock. I'm really mm. into black at the moment. Black and pinks and black yeah. and yellows just gives it a nice layer. It but does. when it comes to stamping, I am uh, using the greys quite a lot, like I say, even like the flagstone when it comes to alcohol proof. 
What I'm going to do at the moment now with this one here, have I, what have I done with my nesting dice? Just in case you wonder, I did have them at the side, I believe the size that I'm using. So this, this nesting die that I'm using here, oval stitched nesting dies, it is the third one from the top that I'm using, just in case you want to know. And I'm going to trim it down slightly, because it lets you see that even your nesting dies, obviously a certain size of them, are going to fit through your Gemini Mini, no problem at all. So we can pop this one all the way round. So we're going to go all the way round, and then using... Craig, can I yeah, interrupt? Of course you can. Um, can you make Melissa Horn newbies day on Facebook, please? And could you say, howdy, y'all? Who was that to? That is for Melissa Horn Newby on Facebook. Please. Melissa, you want me to say howdy, y'all? <laughs> do howdy, it again, howdy, 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 y'all. I don't know if I'm any better than you are. Actually. I mean, we're probably we're probably offending a nation between us, Craig. We really are. <laughs> However, uh, Diana Bliz Billsland on Facebook, she says we do love your accents. Thank goodness. Taking it in good heart, aren't you? Oh, because absolutely. We're trying, we're trying very hard to, you know, sound like you, but we don't, do we? It's funny. See, if someone says to me, can you do, a, a, say, a Scottish word, for instance, believe it or not, I get asked to say murder quite a lot. Oh, I, think it's to, I think it's to do with Taggart. Now, when I go to say it, I try and sound Scottish. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> no, I am Scottish, hey, you know. Hey, I, Craig, I can speak Scottish. Go for it. Sausage. Oh, oh, that was a good one. That was a good and one. And hot chocolate. That's good. Do you like I, it? I like that. That's all I can speak. Yeah. I can speak hot chocolate and sausage, but that's it. Can you say square sausage? Who? Square sausage. We have square sausage. Uh, oh, say that again. Square sausage. Square sausage. Love it. Love, love, love. I mean, it. I mean, is out of ten, what do you think, Craig? Oh, easily a nine point five. Oh, okay. easily nine point five. Okay, I'm just Craig. not going to say ten, just in case. I do love a squats. square sausage. I do love a square sausage in a sandwich because it reaches the sides, and you don't have to, you don't mm -hmm. have to chop it in half and have lumps in your sandwich. I mean, do you have? Let me know on the comments over in America, over in our US. Do you have square sausage over there? Or a hot chocolate, I don't know. <laughs> or together, don't dip your square sausage in your hot chocolate, because that won't taste very nice. <laughs> it's all I can say in Scottish. <laughs> oh, I need I'm, to learn more words, don't I, Craig? I'm never going to look at a square sausage ever again. <laughs> I managed to catch myself there, because I was away to say something, missing a word there, and I managed to put <laughs> square in front of it there. Never look at a square sausage the same again. Never. <laughs> Hey dear, sorry. That was oh, thank Melissa. It. That was all down to you having Craig say howdy y'all. Howdy y'all. <laughs> it's like how you doing? How you how doing? You no, doing? how you doing? You oh, doing? we're all we're all doing we're the all friends doing now. We're all Joey from friends now. All aren't Joey we? from friends. <laughs> So you can see here, I've gone round with my uh, stitched edge nesting die. And what I'm going to do at the moment, I'm going to keep the die in place. And now I'm going to take my water reactive. This is the pale fig. And I'm taking just a little bit of excess off. And I'm going to go round the edges. I'm just going to hold my nesting die into place. And it doesn't look as though you're getting a lot on. But trust me, you are. You get that colour coming through. Now you could take the nest and die away straight away if you want and what would happen is you would get colour edge to edge but then the nest and die creates a bit of a barrier and what happens is it gives you kind of like a faux matte and layer without actually doing a matte and layer. You get a lovely vignette, don't yeah. you? It's really lovely. Love that word, vignette. Vignette. Love that word. Mm -hmm. Can I steal it? Can I start Do using you steal it? steal away. Steal away. Fun. I love this technique and I actually had never done this until I watched you do it in a demonstration and I thought it was fantastic, honestly. I mean, look at that. It's, be it's just beautiful and it does just make a pop, doesn't it? It does. Really it really, big. really does. Mm. You've got that nice, crisp, clean, white edge. And mm. I think what works really well is having the stitched edge. We've got loads of nesting dies on our website you can always check out. But you know by now, certainly the stitched edge are the ones that I use time and time again. But by leaving the dye, it doesn't do your dye any damage at all. A little bit of a wet wipe or just a cloth or something just to take that excess off and you're absolutely fine. 
saying it gives you a full mat and layer, I am going to still bring in another one with the same, uh, kind of like the lie, like the pastel tone. And even then, because no, you've got... Now, you see, I think that makes all the difference, Craig. Yeah. Because even if you just put a white piece of card on there, it does look flat, but that really does lift it. Lifts it, it that lovely. little bit. Mm -hmm. It does, very, very yeah. Nice. I must just tell you what um, Pam Craven has said on Facebook here. It's got, it's got me chuckling away. So uh, this range of quirky sentiment stamps we've done do have a couple of um, funnier ones in. Uh, some of them, but most of them are about you know, feel good, inspiration, real, you know, heartfelt. That they're they're in nice range. We also did a range which was very tongue in cheek, and <laughs> Pam has written in to let us know, Craig. Um, she says, Leanne, the best stamp you ever produced is the one that said. Smile while you still have teeth. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> I haven't dared to send it to anybody yet. <laughs> Pam, make ten cards, please, today, and send them to your ten best friends. They'll love you for it. Because it'll it'll give them a it'll give them a laugh while they've still got teeth. And we all we all need a laugh at the moment, don't we? Especially we since we all can't go to a dentist because they're all closed. And so we may not have teeth in the next two years. And so we all need to be smiling while we've got them. Definitely do that, Pam. I think that's lovely. It's funny that, isn't it? It's it is a good one. I really, really like that one. It's good. It's just nice to give a wee bit of a chuckle. You have a chuckle when you're making them and then obviously the recipient has a chuckle when you send it, when they receive it. Now, what I'm going to do is, again, very much kind of like one I'd done earlier, but at the moment, I've got one with a bit of embellishment. I'm going to leave this one as it is. And even that, Leanne, maybe even, again, maybe a few dots from the ladybug in the corners. That's all that you need to do. So again, this background paper was uh, from Sarah's signature vintage lace. So you can see how that starts to look there. But if you want to go in with a bit of a deeper tone, oh. bringing in this one here. Oh. So I've gone for a bit more of a deep tone, a little bit of uh, embellishments at the top. That could be little flowers from your flower form and foam collection making yeah. them so it's just nice so having a look at the colors don't be scared to add a deep color deep colors can work really well that you can see on this one here or if you want to keep it very very light you can do again maybe a little bow a gem it's entirely up to you but you don't need much at all when you've got these sentiments and that's a good thing about them it gives you that focal point and it gives you that sentiment and a laugh at the same time it really does. It's brilliant. And do you know what I think might be nice on there as well? Those little die collection uh, that came along with a mini, a nice little butterfly yeah. in the corner. Yeah. That would come in nicely with that collection, wouldn't it as it well? Would. I think that would look really, really lovely. So don't forget, you've got to vote for your um, favourite Craig demonstration from this cartload. So do get them in. I think I've got a new favourite now. I love that one. So that's now overtaken in the demonstration wars for me. And Craig's got his dies out. He's going to cut one of them little butterflies, aren't you? Stick it on. I'm going to mm. do that. Shall we have a look at a couple of comments and a couple of... Oh, actually, Craig's going to drop all his ink pads on the floor. And then he's going to cut the butterfly out and do his demonstration. It's only four. It's only four. We're good it's as well. It's only four. That's We're fine. good as well. Yeah, we'll retrieve them later. Um, we've got loads of lovely comments coming in. Angela on YouTube, Craig, here's a thing, says, I've only seen square burgers from Wendy's. I do not recall a square sausage. I don't mm. think I've ever seen a square burger. I don't think so. That was a good one. Oh, I like that one too. Sausage and burger. I'm a closet Scottish and I didn't even know it, you honestly. Didn't. Um, and Maggie V on YouTube, she says, Howdy to you, howdy to you, Craig. You make my day. Aww. Isn't that lovely? That's Maggie on YouTube. Kind of said what I said earlier on today in uh, Craft Faults Home and says that I make them laugh. Do you know what, Leanne? I don't care if you're laughing at me or with me. If you're laughing, you're having a good time when you're watching these shows. I don't care. Preferably, I would like you to be laughing with me. But if it is at me, do you know what? Who cares? <laughs> um, we've got a couple of questions in here as well. Uh, Pamela, Pamela wants to know if we, um, if the inks and the pots are the same compound as the pens and could they be used together? Fantastic question, Pamela. They are exactly the same ink 
and yes, they can be used together. Uh, the pots are better for your um, direct to stamp techniques, for your big backgrounds, for your mixed media, for your spritzing, for your splashing, um, for your painting, and then your pens are better for your detail work, for detail application. Perfectly complement complement each other. Exactly the same ink and size. Uh, Karen Fisher on Facebook wants to know: Can you use these metallic pots to refill the metallic markers like you do with the Spectrum Noir Tri Blends? Sadly, not, Karen. Um, the the compound of that ink, the way the ink is manufactured, the way it's put together, the properties of the ink mean it is not easy to be able to refill a marker all sorts of crazy would happen if we tried to do that so the markers are a one use marker and the ink is in the pot um, and there is no way to get the ink in mainly because of the fact that we've got that liquid pigment in there let me explain why seeing as you're asking we've got the liquid pigment in there and then also the liquid metal the liquid aluminium which are two different consistencies and that's why i was asking craig to stir it by touching the bottom of the pot and get that swirled in there it wouldn't be possible for somebody at home to be able to get the absolute correct amount of the liquid pigment and the liquid metal into a pipette and dispensed into the pen so that it didn't clog your nib. It would all go wrong. So it's best that those metallic markers, you buy new ones when you've used them or have the liquid ink pots and use those uh, with a brush and in all of your techniques. Hope that answers your question for you. Um, so Carol Ann Hanley Craig, she says, there's a bit of Glaswegian there, Leanne. A bit of Glaswegian. There is a wee bit. Was there? Yeah, there was. Yeah. That might be because the person who taught me how to say sausage and hot chocolate was from Glasgow. <laughs> Explains it all, um. So that that's that's obviously why, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Burger. 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 Sausage. Hot chocolate. Love it. I need to extend my vocabulary, I do. And then me and Craig can speak in his language. That would be marvellous, wouldn't you know it? And then we'll, we'll get do? him doing the Geordie things as well. When the world funny. goes back to normal, Leanne, we can get together, we can have a few cheeky gins. Oh, that would be lovely. And I'll t teach you some Scottish words. Craig, I'm going to teach you some Geordie. Jo yeah, oh, yeah, I'd love that. Uh, I would like you to say for me, please, Craig, Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa? Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. You said it a bit Scottish, Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. That's, that's better, that's good, Oompa Loompa. Kawasaki. Kawasaki. No, Kawasaki, that's still Scottish, that. And also our producer, he's also from the North, he says that's Scottish. Kawasaki. Kawasaki. No, Kawasaki. 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 Oh gosh, no, well, well, that, that tone's coming out of our voice there. Get we'll practice later. Yes. We'll practice later. <laughs> <laughs> Oompa Loompa Kawasaki, we'll practice later. Um, ro oh, here's another one, this is the better one, yes. Roller, roller coaster. Roller coaster. Nearly roller coaster. Roller coaster. Oh, that's nearly getting there. Right. Oompa Loompa Kawasaki roller coaster. Oompa Loompa ka Kawasaki roller coaster. Poopa scooper. Poopa scooper. <laughs> Yay, you're getting there, you're <laughs> almost a Geordie. Uh, almost a Geordie, we'll do more practice later. Um, Anne, Anne Louise, oh, fabulous name, Anne Louise Lucy Harris on Facebook says, it is funny, but all the CC hosts have said my name perfectly, but here in America, they always get it wrong. I mean, it's not like it's a strange name, Anne Louise Lucy, Lucy Harris, Luce, Lucy Harris. Anne Louise Lucy Harris. I hope I've said that correct, Anne Marie. I named my daughter's UK names Bronwyn and Gillian. Uh, messes up Americans all the time. That's brilliant. I absolutely love that. That's fantastic. Um, Karen Kay, she's sending her vote in. She's putting a mark in the sand, is our Karen, on Facebook. And she's saying, My vote is still going with the ladybird. Uh, well, good for you, Karen. But please, can you tell us how to get the die for that one? Absolutely, we can tell you how to get the die for that one, Karen. You can get the die for that one with this mini die bundle. I mean, come on. You've got fabulous dies in here. You've got your butterfly. You've got your um, 
dragonfly in here and you've got the la ladybug at the bottom and you're getting all of these dies um craig just used that ladybug but then you've got everything else in here too 26 pounds or 40 dollars fantastic value for money you've got those three there with your dragonfly your butterfly and your little ladybird in there you've got your two fabulous florals in there as well you've got your three tier cake and you don't have to make that as three tiers you can do that as a one tier birthday cake the tiers come separately so you can have a one two and three tier your cake your choice your preference and you've got your cupcake your teacup and your little floral in there as well and then we've got all of the party balloons and bunting and a little present they all come for that phenomenal price of 26 pounds or 40 dollars that's where craig got his little lady bug from thank you very much for the question karen because sometimes we forget to let you know karen rested i must just tell you karen restad sorry karen restad on facebook all of the laffy uh, emojis says you two crack me up with a big red heart I'm pleased because it's all about fun isn't it crafting is about fun crafters companion TV is about family it's about having a great time with you at home and all of the fabulous social interaction that we get really it feels like we're sitting in your home with you um, and if we can raise a smile and give you a little bit of a giggle at our expense then our job here is done as well as some fantastic bargains as well now um, I have to just remind you about these oh and we've got a telfies <gasps> oh we're getting, we're getting telfies sorted uh we're going to look at these first and then we'll have a look at the telfies i got a bit over excited there i heard the word telfie and i was over excited we'll look at them in a second let's have a look at my favorite sentiments for now these are ridiculously popular you must check out your baskets um you are loving these in this cartload show you're absolutely seeing the value in them buy three get six free when do you ever hear that really in a sales tv presentation buy three get six free you've got that fantastic die cut sentiment in the center and then all of those amazing surrounding sentiments and quite genuinely this is the sentiment collection that i have in a small file on my desktop with my mini beside it and whenever i'm making a card this is the sentiment set that i personally go to time after time um, I did a few lives from my home in the first lockdown in spring and I used these sentiments every time I made a card. They are absolutely my favourites. I love the fact that you've got that lovely big statement sentiment in the centre and then we've got all of those fantastic sentiments surrounding it so you can customise the message that you want to say to the people or person that you're sending this to for many, many different occasions. Um, and really lovely to have special on your special day, special birthday wishes, special delivery, special little girl, special little boy, special friend, special to me. I mean, that could be my, to my husband, special to me. I mean, really, it is just phenomenally useful. Thinking of you, um, thinking of you on your birthday, thinking of you on your anniversary, thinking of you on your special day, um, always thinking of you. Honestly, it's just so fantastic smile we all need a smile in our lives right now um things are looking up smile they absolutely are sending you a smile a smile lights up the world ain't that the truth and so many fabulous things this you don't realize how many times you need to say sorry to someone until you've eaten all their chocolate at christmas and um i did actually send this to my husband with i'm so sorry how could i ever make it up to you can't i ate all his chocolate am i sorry not really but i needed to send the card just so that he forgave me um and then we've got the sympathy collection here brilliant we never really realize how much we need a sympathy sentiment in our stash with some lovely heartfelt sayings to surround it until we need a sympathy sentiment and then we regret it when we haven't got it so phenomenal for that um we've also got the celebrate sentiment here with all of your sentiments around there brilliant value for money and of course it's all about you and all about the customer um, and all about the fact that you can send these fabulous messages to whoever you want to send them to um, and a brilliant deal at £17.97 or £23.95. Now the next collection we're going to have a look at is our Sharon Callis collection. Sharon is a very good friend of ours here at Crafters TV. You know Sharon and you love her. She's part of the Crafters Companion family. And this is one of her collections which you have absolutely loved. Now, this is the best deal ever we've had for this from the fabulous Sharon collection. You've never seen it at this price before. 
57 pounds or 79 dollars for all of the things that i'm going to show you here now now look we've got all of these fabulous packaged products here it's great to look at them in the package but i much prefer to look at them in the flesh so you can see exactly what you're getting you have got amazing quilling flowers in here this particular flower makes that glorious rose for you brilliant dye the truly innovative concept where you've got petals on either side fold it in half you get this pink result roll it up you get the beautiful flower look at these exquisite butterflies you've got in here absolutely gorgeous really usable for many different occasions and some incredible sentiments on here these are great to make a statement on their own use them with your heat embossing powders use them with your coloring techniques it is still a phenomenal deal and remember oh, upside down look that was a little bit interesting it was an australian butterfly right there um, remember you're getting all of these it's not a choice everything i'm showing you is for your 57 pounds or 79 dollar price and beautiful big frames there with that phenomenal butterfly detail inside really make a statement and then we've got the thinking of you um, dice and stamps as well which are a beautiful sentiment with that lovely matte and layer under there absolutely gorgeous and then you can see another floral here which is more of a more of a rose i would say but again you've got that wonderful technology where you fold it in half roll it up make that beautiful floral all of those you're getting all of these every single one of these for that amazing price of 57 pounds or 79 dollars it's absolutely the best price we've had you've never had it at this price before it is an absolute steal today on on cartload um while you go and pop that in your basket and appreciate that we're going to have another look at our gemini mini because actually it is the star of the show oh my word you are absolutely loving the gemini mini and the fact that it is back in stock it is the most loved little die cutting machine i dare say in the craft industry because it's that fabulous folder based system you've got that fabulous three by six plate in there which allows you to cut so much um and i'm just wondering craig have you got my favorite sentiments over there I do indeed. Would you be able to cut a couple of my favourite sentiments in this Gemini Mini so that you can show everybody just how brilliant that size cutting plate is and that it works with our favourite sentiments? This is where we're always on the same wavelength. Are we? Watch this space. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Thank you so much, Craig. So don't forget you get your Gemini Mini and then you're getting free your fabulous craft bag which is worth $19.99 or $24.95 and remember I showed you earlier that fabulous extendy strap I'm going to model it again for you I might even wear my glasses on the end of my nose just to complete the look uh, I'm going for the full look look uh, catalogue look does it work I don't know thanks Craig I don't know if it does uh, but look it's just a really good size strap so you know meant for everybody of different sizes i'm going to need a bigger strap than craig um and then you've got all of those lovely pockets in here to be able to stash all of your crafty items and capacious really i think that's a good i'm going to put the mini inside i want you to see how little space it takes and i'm going to tip that up and show you look the mini tucks nice and neat in the top there of the bag and look how much more space you have got i could literally take everything that we've shown you on the show today and fit it all into this one bag it really is brilliant for stashing all of your craft tools in there and lovely if you do want to put your mini in all of your folders in of course but i think you'll be using it for so much more and you're not paying a penny for it you're getting that completely free of charge when you get your gemini mini are you ready craig i am indeed <gasps> well let's go and have we a look are. at our craig with the mini and those fabulous sentiments we're absolutely going to do I thought maybe, see, would it be worthwhile for just maybe a minute or two to show you some finished samples for Sharon Callis' collection? Oh, yes, Just please. to give you an idea as to what, and then we'll do the, the sentiments. That would be good. So here we go. If you want any more ideas and inspiration, always make sure that you go across to Sharon Callis, whether it is our Facebook. Uh, she's got a group even on Facebook or Instagram. So always go across there and have a look and see what they have got because they've got an incredible team. But you can see here, whether you're keeping up with the golds and the blacks, you know, it could be monochromatic. You've got the butterflies. How it's 
a, a masterpiece, I'd like to think. You know, whether it's the top of the card, it could maybe just be in the middle of the card. These quill and flowers are spectacular. So, so easy to use as well. Always worthwhile checking out one of Sharon's videos. Then if you want to change the colours completely, this is where it is in your control. You decide the colours and it will let, obviously, change depending on what you use. And what I mean by that, if you use any of your blacks with your gilded waxes, look spectacular. Maybe you want to do some backgrounds with your metallic ink pots and then use them on the backdrop. You can do shakers, adding the butterfly just as an accent. You're going for the springtime. These really do lend themselves for uh, the springtime colours and it's perfect going into the springtime. We need something to be smiling about. But you can see baby pinks. You want to go for your teals, your duck egg blues. Look spectacular. So completely in your control. Small cards, large cards. It could be, you know, tags even if you want to. What about home that decor? That yellow card was stunningly beautiful, Craig. It is, isn't it? Absolutely and lovely. That would look good as well, even in a, one of those uh, box frames that you can get really inexpensively as well. Mm. You know, that would look really really nice really nice and actually I must just tell you that our left-handed crafter on YouTube um, says I want this collection well you know what to do left-handed crafter on YouTube pop it in your basket it's on the website pop it in the basket check it out and this collection for the price the ridiculous price of 57 pounds or 79 dollars can be yours and you get everything that i showed you on those boards phenomenal deal and you can see from what our craig showed you just how beautiful the results are that you can achieve um, with that wonderful sharon Callis Callis collection the thing i love about it is sharon really thinks about it craig and makes mm -hmm. sure that everything in the collection perfectly complements contrasts and supports each other so that you can pick up any two three things um, within that little bundle and range and they will all work together lovely won't they well oh, absolutely yes yeah, spot on and it's a bit like in some ways some of our collections where you can then just use a small element one two product or you can go all out use it all in conjunction and you're going to get a spectacular result so i thought what we can do is let's go back to these fancy font sentiments and also i know many are going to be oh craig you say it all the time but I just want to obviously reiterate what Leanne says as well. Uh, between these and remember our, I'm saying remember, of course you're going to remember, our circle sentiments. Uh, these are my favourite sentiment dies ever. Um, and I say that quite a lot on uh, Instagram. So you know that uh, I mean that when I say that. They're so usable. And what I actually do as well sometimes, Leanne, and quite often, a lot of the time, I don't always use the stamps. I use just the sentiment as that, either that nice. focal or, yes. you know, again, pulling in the eye. So the sentiments are there for the, with the stamps. We're going to use them, but you can be using the die on their own. So it fits perfectly in our Gemini mini folder that you can see here. I'm just using white stamping card for this one and I'm going to run that one through and I'm just even, just not even a lot of pressure. All that I'm just doing is just popping my hand over the top and winding it through. What you'll find as well is, you know, some of you might think that you need to wind back as well. You don't. One pass through, you're going to get that pressure when it comes from the Gemini name and you know it's going to die cut perfectly. So I'm going to pop these ones out with the release holes. So, Craig, yes. Lisa, Lisa's Crafty Corner on YouTube, she says, OK, I broke down and I got the fancy fonts. Brilliant. Lisa, you will not regret it. And why would you not want nine sentiments dies of that size for the price of three exactly you're buying three and you're getting six for free which is fantastic so i'm really pleased you did that lisa that was a good shout now while you're using the mini there craig yeah suzanne suzanne parent on youtube says does the mini come with a folder as well could you just show everybody what comes in with the mini there craig so everybody yeah. knows what they're getting of course i can so we, of course, as uh, Leanne was showing you, so you get the mini, so you've got that nicely compact mini that, trust me, that is going to die cut so many of your dies. You're going to get a nice, crisp, clean folder. As I said at the beginning, if uh, some of you don't always realise, but you can flip that one over. Very similar to our Gemini plates, always flip and rotate, and that'll just enable that to stay straighter for much, much longer. So always flip and rotate. But what you also get is he says as he leans over and if he picks it out that's a nice picture oh. bear with bear with i'm just well, i'll just tell going, you what we'll I'm do we'll, down. We'll, we'll we'll talk well should we see the telfies while he's doing yeah. that oh, oh, oh let's have the telfies i love it 
Oh, Joe. Joe Mitchell, thank you so much. You're telfy with me. Please, can I have that printed for my office wall? That is my first, I think that might be my first official telfy, Joe. Oh, you've made my day. Thank you so Brilliant. much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the guys to print that. I'm going to put it on my office wall and I'll put it on Facebook so you can see I've done that tomorrow, Joe. Um, we've got some other questions here. I must just tell you, this um, really made me laugh. This is from Tiny Restad on Facebook. Tiny says, two of my very favourite people to watch. You two can take a dark day and make it bright. Make us smile with or without teeth. <laughs> Which I love. Thank you so much, Tiny. Okay. And you know, it's a pleasure from Craig and I. We, I mean, you can just tell. We love our work. We get on very well. We're friends as well as, as, well as colleagues. And it's brilliant to be able to share just a little bit of laughter with you. So thank you for that, Tiny. I'm sure Craig feels the same. I do. Um, Cheryl says, gotta love our crafty family. Yolanda says, yes, we always need a sympathy sentiment in our stash. We do, Yolanda, we do. Um, Terry says, I have the collection and love it. This is for the Sharon collection. The quilling flowers are so incredibly easy. Thank you for that, Terry. And I think our Craig might be ready now, are you, Craig? I have am Have you indeed. finished having a little rummage under yeah. your desk? So I've managed to find okay. out. What you're also going to get is your plastic shim. Now, with our uh, Gemini Mini, we also do folders that will fit perfectly through it. They fit through them, but it does mean they're going to go through your Gemini's as well. Now, if you've got one of our folders, now wait for it, Gemini Mini, we even do 3D folders, embossing folders that go through. Your Gemini, your 3D embossing folders are going to go through on its own. Bit of cardstock in the middle, that's all that you need. If you want to use one of our, what I would say is like our traditional folder, so what I would say with that, it's not 3D, it's not got your 3D element. What you just need to do is just add that in with your folder. So you pop your cardstock in your folder, and when you run it through, just pop it in with your shim as well. That's gonna give it that extra pressure. But if you are using the, the 3D folder, you don't need anything. Pop your cardstock in, wind it through, that's all that you need to do. It's a spectacular result that you get with that one. And then what we're going to do is I, I cut the word smile in white. I'm going to do it once more into black cardstock. And then I thought, what we can <gasps> even do... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm excited. I think I know what you're going to do. It's one of my favourite things. I'm dancing, look. Because <laughs> I'm excited because I think I know what you're going to do. And it's one of my favourite things. I'm so happy you're doing it, Craig. <gasps> Well, this is going to be a big letdown if it's not. Oh, it is. That's true. I'll not say too much just in case. Mm -hmm. I think I know what you're going to do. Do you think so? I, th I hope. I think so. I hope so. I hope so. Bring in my word back in. Yeah. Everyone yes. The same, yeah, we're on the same wavelength. Yes, we're on the same we're on wavelength. Same wavelength. Excellent. <laughs> Panic over. <laughs> Panic over. Don't forget as well, even things on the smile, you get little dots as well. I know there's a proper yeah. name for it. I know it's a dot, but you've got all that there as well. So what we can do. And just before you stick that, Craig. Yeah. You know your black waist? If you bring your black waist in and then put your white smile inside. That way, there. Um, so you can build it and you can build that up over some acetate and they, you can start to build all of the different colours because they'll nest inside. Right enough, yeah. That's another way you That's can do that. That's a good way Isn't as well. Good? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. like that too. I and like it just that makes it, And then you get, it, it's a two for Craig. It is. Because you've got the white one that you can put the black one in and the black and one vice you can versa. put the white one in and then you get two nice sentiments. But actually the shadow that you were going to do, that, that was what I was getting excited and dancing about. Really, yeah. I just think it's that little bit of detail. It takes no time at all, especially yeah. with our Gemini Mini. And what we can do is you get a really nice result. Finishes it off, gives you that shadow effect. Again, I'm being very quick because I know, I can't believe we're coming to the end of the show already. What I would do, so what I like to say is, if you look at it, if you pop it, we're not pressing hard at the moment, but if you pop it, bang over the top, and then just pull it down slightly to the bottom right hand side, then what will happen is you'll get a bit of a black outline, black shadow, using your pokey tool. And if you need to just pop it into place, you can, even the bottom just here. We can pop that one in and then press that one. So Amazing. here, let's put it on to a bit of red. So maybe, actually, no, there we go, because you can see it with yes. the, look at that. Beautiful. It's so nice. Absolutely, and brilliant. If you paint that, you can ink that up with your inks, Craig. You, you can, can do your inking techniques. So many different things into it. I love a drop shadow with those sentiments. I think it looks amazing. Craig, can you believe we've only got about three minutes left? I know. I think I'm well, managed. I mean, Craig, I think, we just, I think we just lock those doors and we do a crafty takeover and we say, 
we're just staying here for another two hours because it just doesn't fit doesn't feel like it's been long enough, it, it does doesn't, it? It doesn't feel long enough whatsoever. I can't believe how quick that is gone. And I'm even, I'm, I'm sorry, Johnny, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to finish this bit. Do you want to know what the winning demo is so yeah, far, go, Chris? Yeah, uh, Still in the lead, still, I'm going to, still oh, in the lead, roll. Craig, Ladybird. Right, okay. Yeah, it was a popular one. It was a good one, Craig. I yeah. think it's going to be the winner. I did Do you like think so? Oh, the one you're doing now, in fact. So well, I've even been... better. Let's even. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Let's bring my stamping one. I would uh, maybe put a little embellishment or something just to enable that to stand up properly. Yes. But it's working okay. I can then bring in. Let's go for You Make Me. Let's pop that one in there. And very, very quickly, where's my, let's go for grey again. Uh, do you know what you can do to create your stopper with that? If you've stuck it flat with the sentiments, what I like to do sometimes, Craig, and it might be useful for our pity viewers at home, the, the, the loop of the L, you can bend that up a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. So that the sentiment actually then goes on the front of your card if you haven't stuck it down. And then you uh, Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna teamwork, Craig. It makes the dream work. Up that inky... And what I'm going to do, I would, you know me, I would do a matte and layer, but let's just pop one pad on the back. Maybe too big. But let's pop this one on, and I'm going to bring that one in. Let's pop it down Fabulous. into there. It's winning, Craig. It's still winning. And then we've winning. got You Make Me, me smile. smile. And we've used a combination of the Gemini Mini, the embellishment I as well. I love that. And actually, that's been the theme of this cartload, hasn't it, Craig? You Make Me Smile. It we've has, had a actually. great time. It has. Um, I think, for sure, Ladybird is the winner. <laughs> Ladybird's the winner. Ladybird, well done, Craig. That's going on the shelf. I think Ladybird might win the, might steal the show. It's a good one, that. I think on Sunday, that might be the overall winner. Um, and I think, oh, Craig's on the show on Sunday, so <gasps> might be a bit of peer pressure there for you to actually vote for that one on Sunday for Craig. Now, um, Craig, let me just take this opportunity to say thank you very much. I, thoroughly enjoyed working with you. I think this is the first time that we've been able to do something like this and I've had the best time. Um, and thank you so much for all of your demonstrations. It's been truly inspirational. Don't forget, all of the deals that we've got are still on the website for you. Please do get along there. If you've still got something in your basket, get it checked out. But all of the deals that you've seen on this Cartload show are available for the next 48 hours. So if you're watching this back, if you weren't able to join us live and you're catching up and wondering what on earth were those people talking about when they were referring to sausage and hot chocolate and other things. Oh my gosh, your mic's gone. This happened the other day to Ben. Oh my God, we've got another jam-packed day tomorrow on Crafters TV and we've got it kicking off with a wake-up call with Craig. We've got a mass... Actually, do you know what? All throughout the day tomorrow, it's myself and Leanne again, but not together. Full on day. You guys stateside, have a lovely night with your HSN preview. Everyone else, you are going to enjoy the full day tomorrow on Crafters TV. Lots of ideas, lots of inspiration. As always, go across to our website, Crafters Compound companion.co.uk.com.eu and I think, is that us? Is that us? We will see you then. Bye.